The Nigerian Army has deployed its personnel to some Igbo state communities to carry out raids, discreet searches, and arrest of youths and residents who are suspected to be linked to the indigenous people of Biafra and its security arm, the Eastern Security Network. Multiple sources told Sahara reporters that the military personnel suspected to be led by the 34 Artillery Brigade Oweri since Sunday have been arresting male residents and youths, particularly in Oguta and Ohaji communities and clamping them into vans and taken to unknown destinations. We have been getting distressed calls from our relatives and people that the army sent its men to surround communities in Ohaji, Osu, Agua, and Izombe. They have been abducting some male youths. It is an abduction because nobody among those arrested knows his or her offense, or knows his offense, rather. Where they are taking him, to or is able to communicate to his relatives before he is taken away. The military are forcing them in their vans, a source stated. A few women are among the victims being raided too. Some of our women who went to farms have not returned since. People from Oguta or Haji communities who have relatives in Oweri town are fleeing because the army wants to turn our villages into deserts. What is all this search? What is all this search? Because of IPOP and the Eastern Security Network? Is it by emptying our villages that you arrest IPOP and Eastern Security Network members? Won't people go to their farms again, a resident said. Imo State has been a hotbed of violence and killings, which got to a head on the 5th of April when the notorious gunmen attacked the State Police Command Headquarters and freed no fewer than 2,000 inmates at the headquarters of the Nigerian Correctional Center, Oweri, reports had said. The gunmen had also attacked the office of the State Criminal Investigation Department of the State Police Command, freeing suspects there. The attackers had burnt all the vehicles parked at the command headquarters and freed all the suspects in almost all the cells at the State CID. Sahara reporters had reported that the gunmen operated in over 10 vehicles and also attacked soldiers stationed at Umoji or yeah, Umoji along Oweri on each expressway. Earlier, four police divisional headquarters had been attacked since February. They include Obowu, Abombise, and Ihitubuoma divisions. Unknown gunmen on the March 20 also raised the Isiala Mbano police headquarters or police divisional headquarters located at Umuelemai in Imo states. The gunmen had invaded the divisional headquarters armory and freed suspects in the detention facility and cutted away arms. While some had fingered the IPOP, and the Eastern Security Network as culprits. The state government had said the gunmen were being used by aggrieved politicians, while the IPOB had also denied its involvement in the attacks. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? You know, the Nigerian army has continued again or has started again i don't know which is actually the right word to use because it has been their um culture or their, their, their custom abducting youths in the southeast 
all in the name of IPOB and the Eastern Security Network. But this is a very, very wrong step, if you'd ask me, because it isn't the right thing to do. Why would the IPOP, or oh, sorry, why would the Nigerian army begin to abduct innocent people? They feel, they think, and suspect uh, IPOP members or Eastern Security Network members. And these people have been abducted without the knowing of their family members. Nobody's been contacted. They just pick people up, throw them into their vans, and off they take them away to dungeons. The last time it happened with, uh, in Obibo in River State, it was reported that some of these people were taken to as far as Kaduna, Abuja, Zaria, and Kano, other places. They spread them into different um, army dungeons and they were locked up. It took the investigative uh, eyes of inter-society and some other um, civil society organizations who had to follow up and through the help of people, their contacts, to be able to know that, okay, some people were locked up in this particular state, some were locked up in this particular army dungeons, and all that. This is the same thing that supposedly is happening in Imo states. And if care is not taken, something will definitely be wrong. If care is not taken, they will be taken for granted. They might be eventually um, incarcerated or castrated, as the case may be. Because you know that the Nigerian army do not joke with people and they can just, and the Nigerian security forces could just, you know, pick people up and that would be the end forever and ever. Nobody would hear about such people. It is really, really sad and unfortunate. The state governors in the Southeast must, as a matter of urgency and fact uh, and importance, address this issue, step in and ensure that this raid, this abduction, is put to a stop. What they are accusing the Eastern Security Network of, the Eastern Security Network and the IPOP has come out to denounce it. And the perpetration in the Southeast is not up to the level of um, what we have in the North. So it is really, really sad and unfortunate that the state governors in the Southeast would open their eyes, watch uh, that this level of um, evil is perpetrated on their people. They need to rise up to the occasion and do something before it gets out of hand. Well, drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget on, to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.